Good evening, you guys. I apologize for the lighting. Sorry, bear with me. Tonight's reading is, What is the Biblical View of Wealth? Hank Hanegraaff says, I am persuaded that the Bible teaches a form of Christian capitalism. Let's see what he means by that. He says, in other words, responsibility associated with wealth. It does not promote the possession of money for the sake of money, but instead encourages us to use money for the sake of the kingdom. In short, he says, a biblical view of wealth involves an eternal perspective. First, it is crucial to realize that the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Psalm 24, 1. God is the landlord. We are just tenants. We did not arrive with anything, and we will not take anything with us when we leave. That hurts. That's a First Timothy passage. Chapter 6, I want to say. Just remembering this fact of life will save us from a world of hurt. Furthermore, poverty does not equal piety, nor do it riches equal righteousness. God prospers some, and he puts others in more humble circumstances. If there were a one-to-one -one ratio between godliness and wealth, the godliest people in the world would also be the wealthiest. A quick check of the Forbes 500 will quickly dash such an illusion, he says. Finally, it is important to view wealth with eternity in mind. In other words, lead your life here below as a responsible steward, whether you have a little or a lot, so that one day at the judgment, God himself will richly reward you. Matthew 25, 21. It is your bank statement in heaven that counts. If you fix your hope on the one you have down here, you are bankrupt no matter how many digits you count next to your name. So, there's Hank's advice for biblical wealth, as it were, and I hope that was helpful to you. I know that this has been a difficult topic for me over um, the last few years. It's difficult to figure out uh, sometimes what to give, how much to give, uh, to whom to give. Do you give to everybody who asks? or certain things that uh, draw near to your heart. These are tough questions, and they deserve to be wrestled with. So, But hopefully this helps provide a foundation, and if you have any further questions, uh, please let me know. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. See ya.